Hello folks. Here's a new little project I've been working on. Meet It's a Snow Day. It's a new little painting that I did yesterday and I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, I'm doing this. I'm filming this all on my floor, so bear with me here. I'm practicing. Okay. Sometimes it's fun just to take a piece of watercolor paper. This is an arches that I ripped up. And then I have these, um, oh, you know, these are decorative papers that you buy like in a set. And sometimes it's just fun to play with these. So what I would do is, so here's what I did. I had a sheet of paper. You can see it right here. And what I did was I ripped it up in several shapes and then using matte medium, I just glued it down. And I let that dry. And if you look carefully, you can see the different pieces. Anyway, I ripped it up, and so you can see the angle of this one is of the hats going that way, and I had a larger piece here. So anyway, then I decided on a limited palette, and I used a yellow ochre, a burnt sienna, and a sap green, and of course with white. And I painted this little cutie patootie. So here it is, 80 degrees out, and I did a snow day. But that's just kind of what I saw in the scraps. I just kind of went with what I saw. So, the only problem now is I have to be able to go upstairs and photograph it. And you can see it's all curled up. So, you see I wrote on the back. Oh, well, that was from something else I was practicing. So I just wanted to show you how I'm going to straighten this out. And all you need is a flat board, a couple pieces of wax paper, and then this is just a plexiglass, but anything that is flat and firm is good. So this is what I do. I lay down my first piece of wax paper, I turn my painting over, and I squirt it lightly with water. You don't want to soak it, absolutely not. Then you put a second piece of wax paper down. Then you take your other hard piece, so we've just sandwiched it. And then I have some crazy big books. This is a 1970s dictionary, also fabulous for, um, I think I got it for a dollar at Goodwill. This is fabulous for ripping out for collage. Then I have this incredible, look at this book, Health and Longevity. This is probably an antique and I'm doing a terrible thing ripping it apart, but that's what I do. But look, gorgeous paper. I might have to do something with that. And it's all about how to treatment of malignant smallpox. And all these drawings and incredible um, let me see if I can flip to one fast. Great color plates in here too. Anyway, but what I'm going to do is keep this little sandwich thing here for about an hour to two hours and then it will be nice and flat, ready to photograph. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, you ready for the big reveal? It's been a couple hours. I had a nice walk, ate breakfast. Okay, here we go. All right, one second. Here we go. <clears throat> Put my big books aside. Okay, look at that, flat perfectly flat. So now I can take it upstairs and photograph it. And isn't she cute? Yep. So sometimes it's just fun to do just to mix it up a little bit. So like I said, I still use my gouache 
which is my favorite medium but just laying down a pattern first is really fun so let's see how do I center this there we go all right let me practice my zoom and there we go it's kind of the lights too bright but anyway thanks for watching talk to you later have a great week bye bye